amigos, ¿cómo están? Comunidad de Xbox Live, yo soy Mar, mi gamer tag es Molina. El día de hoy me encuentro con Jeff Smith, él es productor ejecutivo de Lionhead Studios y nos va a platicar todos los detalles acerca del nuevo videojuego de Fable, Fable The Journey, en exclusiva para Kinect. Hello Jeff, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How, how is Mexico treating you? It's great, lovely place. So the story of the journey uh, is about Teresa and it brings her bloodline to the end, a natural conclusion. Now, Teresa was in all the other fables and is the persistent character through the whole game and the whole series, and this brings her story to an end. But it's not just about Teresa, it's also about Gabriel, who's a young guy, um, he's just uh, hangs around at the back of the tribe, um, but he has a journey to go on himself to become a hero. So it's a kind of a two-part story, and the two characters, they need each other to survive. Teresa has been weakened and needs Gabriel to become the hero. Gabriel just wants to go back to the tribe. He doesn't want to get involved, but he realizes as time goes on, he can wield the powers. And so that story works together nicely to bring that particular line of fable to a natural end. We've done a lot of work with Connect previously, uh, and we thought that for fable, magic, well, that was so central, felt so much better without a controller. It was great pressing the X button and so on and fighting with the controller, but to feel really immersed in the game, it was great to be able to throw your arms about, create spells, use your voice, you can use your voice to, uh, to call the spells, and it made you feel pretty powerful. You really are the hero, and so you couldn't do the things with a controller. You can send magic out, you can move it around, uh, you can combine spells with two hands, you can fight, throw creatures up in the air and hit with another one. So, It really took away that barrier that the controller always gives to, you know, separating the player from the TV screen, if you like. So you feel like you're really there. Sitting down, it was very important that we did this uh, from the start that the gamers play sitting down because it's a long play game. You know, it can be 10 to 15 hours this game, and you don't want to be standing and dancing and moving about for all of that. So we worked a long time with various parts of Microsoft organization. Um, to provide us with the tech, the core um, programming, if you like, to enable us to actually control the game sitting down. So we control the game with the upper body, um, and as long as we've got a good setup, um, nice chairs, it works uh, across a whole range of different lounge sitting rooms uh, configurations. Um, and basically, because so much is in the arms and the voice, it's fine. So there is less choice in here than previous fables, primarily because it is an action-adventure game. Uh, it is a narrative. It's actually got the most complete story of any um, fable game, but there is still choice. We still have a nod. Um, as the game goes on, to, um, you, you can choose different paths. Um, there's optional quests you can go down uh, to find more chests or to just go a slightly different route. So, and there is choice, of course, at the end of the game too. A big choice, which, and that's a spoiler, I don't want to you know, say anything more about. So yes, there is some, it's important that we do that. It's like the humor of Fable. You know, I think the journey is a humorous game and it continues that tradition. Uh, but because it's a very straight um, and very compelling story, there is choice, but maybe not quite as much as the previous ones. Pues ya lo escucharon amigos, eso fue Fable The Journey, así que estén muy al pendientes porque sale en octubre de este mismo año. Muchísimas gracias por haber visto esta cápsula, yo soy Mar, mi gamer tag es Molina, recuerden seguirnos en nuestras redes sociales y nos vemos a la próxima. Thank you so much.